Hello everyone, Triple is back here with some more Life is Strange, episode 4. Should be the last part of uh, this episode, episode 4, Dark Room. Now we've got to look around this creepy ass barn. Holy shit, this is scary. Makes me think of the what Scream Netflix show. Let's go find the best way in. With the mediocre second season where there's all about a barn. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Her necklace has no gravity. <laughs> it's stuck to her one. shirt. Hello, knock knock. That's a big ass lock. Look at Chloe. Uh, uh, look at the tire tracks. Oh, look at those ones. Hmm. These are thick oh. tracks and Warren. definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? We've got a message from Warren. Um. God, but okay, there we go. I figured out now, it's the flashing, it's the, uh, the new messages. That's for pulling off Nathan, talk about going ape, he deserved to beat down, but I don't want to st stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just uh, need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, I promise. Cool, now I have to calm myself down. And thanks for leaving your mark on my door. I'll never erase it. You better not, it's permanent. God, they're so cute together. This is why I'm shipping these two together. Watson? We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Yes, Watson, you goddamn moron. <laughs> I mean, Sherlock would say that. You know, the Sherlock from, you know, the new Sherlock. Take a picture of the little birdie. Give me those achievements. It's a very calm bird. It would have flown away by now if it was a real bird. Whoa, what was that? I thought I saw something on the uh, bale of hay. Let's move this and get tetanus. We're in. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. The front door. <laughs> oh, yes, Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. Oh, yeah. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Got that picture of Slenderman when he still had hair on the wall there. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry mm. and Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues, and I'll scope out the area. We'll have a little look-see around the place. Once I can get control of my camera. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Yeah, this photo here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. You got a face there, but you definitely don't have one there. <laughs> Creepy. This tractor has paid its dues. I have to walk all the way to the front of it, so you know. Ring, get, ooh. Ring. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Search this crate. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. I would never be able to read that, ever. I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end, uh, end if the day, you mean of the day, July 24th in the year of our Lord, 1903, god damn that's old, rest assured we'll make your life a living hell. Kind regards, MLP. I hope there wasn't more to read than that, but oh well. If there was, I'll go back to it. Tractor. Tractor! Recently. What the fuck was that? Something knocking somewhere. 
recently, yeah, recently just decided to re-listen to Heavy Metal Farmer. Ooh, a box. Ah, the good old days. Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee, cocaine, tobacco and milk. <laughs> uh, pitchfork. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. That's not the best zombie fighting weapon. I don't think there's... Oh, oh, hello, oh, a photo. I was going to say, there's nothing as much else, but there is. Talk about home on the range. Chickens! I see chickens. There was a thing. Oh, a button. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. And the ground. Oh, yeah, the ground. <sighs> nothing here. Are you kidding me? That looks so important. Is there any more stuff to, like on the ground? To... Yep, yep. I think there might be. Just rotting wood. Ah, there's something somewhere. Oh, something there. Whoa. There we go. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. <laughs> I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. I think I know which ones she's on about, because uh, I love Friday the 13th films. So many haystacks, so few needles. Okay, so we got... Wait. Has to be more here than this crate. How? Look, I'm pretty sure we have to drop something. Do I tell her about it? No. Do I look at it? Hold. Hold. Okay. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some Aha. kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the Chloe, second you need any help. Can you give me a hand? There you go. I told you. The second you were asking me, I asked for help. <laughs> Sidekick at your service. I knew we had to go up there. I just didn't know we had to look at the padlock first to. Up and away, Super Max. Go up there. I dig having minions. Okay. Now. Guess we just gotta. Go. Oh god, that just looks... No. Oh. I don't think... Attach. There we go. Ring. And then we... Ring. Go back up. Chloe. Oh no. Oh yeah, she is going to show up. Yeah, there we go. We've attached the hook to the thing. Pulling's not gonna work. <gasps> An owl! Sorry, Mr. Owl. Didn't mean to wake you up. Pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Yes, but. Aha! Ahahaha! Rewind powers to the rescue! And. 
Careful up there, Max. Flow over here. And push. We are the best. Max Giver strikes again. Hey, yo. And hey, yo. Just keep that. Open the hatch. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. That's a big hatch. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. It's been 10 years until we can finally move the camera again. There we go. God, it takes so long. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Well, we don't have one. First a padlock, then a digi code. Someone really. D but there are faded numbers. Five, four, two. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm the I best. That only worked in the movies. Works in real life as well. Technically, I guess for this world. Open sesame. I think I knew that from Sherlock. Stocked and I think they had something like that with the faded numbers it's on the locks. The key had yeah. numbers. Let's look at everything. More survivalist supplies. Cereals. Ah, oh, I love me old cereals. <laughs> Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. It's a lot of mushrooms. This person loves mushrooms. Leather. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. As Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you played in his mental health. If you don't have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It's simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have nogged my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless... I care about Nathan. I believe he needs serious help. If you'd like to talk about this matter, I am always available. See? That's why I didn't let Warren beat the crap out of him. He needs help. Talk tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. You could print out some massive pictures with that. You could print out that with that. That fits. But that's not a great picture. That's a horrible picture. Uh, papers. Oh, that son of a bitch. Stormbreaker bunker. Full estimate one million three hundred and fifty thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Contract signature Sean Prescott. That's a lot of money. Talk about tortured. Ugh, those eyes. Those blobs in that picture, which you can't really see anything. <laughs> Ooh. Notes. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? I told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I have set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. Uh, we can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Or you're on your own. That really from his father... Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect false club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know that what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy and other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son and I want us to fulfil our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. 
It's really just like Game of Thrones. The way they're speaking to each other. Anything in here? Oh, there are the files. We've seen them before. Kelly, Rachel, Kate. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria, Kate, Victoria. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Ugh. Can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. All right, just give me some time. I still need to look at some stuff. Oh, my God. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. It is. Let's see what's in oh. here. Oh my god. <sighs> no. Do a bit of Photoshop on that shitty picture, you bitch. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Yeah, that's in the junkyard. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. <sighs> Anything else? Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I like I can go from, like, you know, being absolutely horrified and then we go back to, you know, hey, look at this stuff. Oh, shit. That's Nathan's What child. the hell has happened there? Has he been here recently? Oh, shit. Okay. That's okay. Nathan's jacket. Something's has up with the subtitles recently? there. <laughs> that was a bit weird. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Rachel Amber officially confirmed missing. So it continues. Black Hole Student saved! Yay! That was me. Somebody likes their whiskey. I love whiskey. That's my main get go to for getting drunk. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Jack Daniels, Tennessee honey whiskey mixed with Coke. Great. So who's using this fancy tripod? I think we know the answer to that. Okay, we can stop looking at it now, thank you. Ooh, oh, drugs. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. And needles. Needles? Gross. Yeah, I hate needles. That's horrible. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. It looks absolutely horrible, and I don't like that. Gives me the creeps. Leave the dark room. We're done in here. So there you go, folks. That was the dark room, the namesake of the episode. We found it. And now we're going to go to the junkyard. Or scrapyard, which one do they call it? We call it Scrapyard here in Britain. We had, we had a TV show called Scrapyard Challenge as well, where people would make things out of the scrap in the scrapyard to complete challenges and stuff and win. It's a good show. Yeah, it's had Robert oh, Llewellyn, who played Wait Crichton from Red Dwarf, as one of the hosts. I know exactly where I'm going. I assume music would be playing right now. Look, this is it. This is it. 
Mm, yeah, it is. Recognize that bit as Are you gonna help me, Max? Tangled metal over there. Chloe, stop. Look. Ugh. Please no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Yeah, she's dead. Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <sighs> so sorry, Chloe. So sorry. Oh, there's the ghost doe. That ghost doe. People like to think as well that that's Rachel. And now she's been found, it's gone. So that would have been a place to end off last time, but I didn't want to go another, like, you know, it's been taking another 20 minutes. It would have been an hour and a half episode, and then there's not much, you know, left after that. I'm pretty sure as well I thought I read something that if you go back to the junkyard at some point, and you can read on the wall where you wrote, like, Rachel was here... Chloe, Claire was here, Max was here, cops. and someone changes it we to proof. Rachel Fuck is the here. Rachel wanted us to find her. Maybe it's in the next episode or something, I don't know, but. And revenge. I do remember something the about that's been changed, I thought it'd be there, I thought like she'd years, run off, you could look around, get in my way. and then you'd I run to her. Sorry, I'm talking over them. <laughs> I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. So you're about to something then? Yeah, she still has the gun. So I'm pretty sure it is like if you oh, failed shit. with Frank like and you rewound, you're right. you can tell to throw away the gun. But I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. There's two moons. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. <laughs> Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Not even two moons can stop her. They look different as well. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. You want to see a lightweight? I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Did you take it yet? Just one oh. picture. Uh. Action. <laughs> We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey. We still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. 
Text soon. <laughs> Not talk soon. Text soon. <laughs> How lightweight are you, dude? It doesn't take that much whiskey for me to get drunk, but god damn, you said half a beer. Hi, can I take your code or anything? Okay, we did take someone's no, name. I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. We did take someone's name off of okay, the guest so list, so someone shouldn't be getting in. Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, that's what they're here for. <laughs> uh, hi, Stella. <laughs> hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Yeah, Chloe. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Anything usual? Did you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm yeah. back for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Yes, he should. Yes, I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I... I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck! Alright, so is this not the side place or something? You look a lot like... You kind of, that kind of looks like a bit like Rachel. Okay, I just would just go straight in. There would be music playing right now, but... It's just gonna look weird, all these people dancing and there's no sound, or well, no music, at least. Play something, you idiot! <laughs> oh god, epilepsy warning. I like how those guys look like the drawing on the wall then. <laughs> Casually slapping him in the face with a noodle. <laughs> smack. Smack. Stop that. Smack. Stop that. Smack. Stop that. Oh, God. I hate these parties. Yes, hello. Half naked need to dude. Find Nathan and take him down. Please move out of my way. She's having a good time. She's really wanting the attention. I'm a multi purpose geek. You are. That's what I hey, dude. About Warren. Yes! Max makes an entrance! <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Why so serious? Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. I mean, what, you're going to Portland right now? <laughs> Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex God damn that party. flashing. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. <laughs> hate this club. <laughs> Fucking scrub. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, so you are oh, going. Um, that, Just not right so now. Sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. 
I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible. Ow, I week. just hit my knuckles on the table. I think that snow and eclipse oh, gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. <laughs> Double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really Go outside right now. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Oh, this would be nice for a change, then. Is. is he hiding or something? Courtney drinks. Energy drinks. Soda. Energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Do not mix booze with energy drinks. You will probably die. There's Courtney drinking alone. Without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. And we can't talk to her? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God damn it, Alyssa. I knew something was going to happen then. Yeah, Alyssa, What's you better move. Honest? I'm on it. <laughs> So that's course, why he was my just. My object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. I have a chat with you now. To see you here. Uh, Vortex Club. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time, even if I hate most of them. Uh, Victoria. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. <laughs> I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. <laughs> I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. Can you please shut up back there? Oh my god. Shut up. Thank you. Revenge. Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help. Like you helped me. Nathan. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Yeah, Thanks, true. Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Hey, I'm not finished talking to you yet. I'm not finished talking yes, to you yet. I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. There you go. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Dully. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. <laughs> okay, here we go. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Yeah, that does that apply. Was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. That does that does apply. Uh, two different roads and stuff. Rewinding and all that jazz. Guessing is that like the VIP? So oh, hello. The yeah, the VIP. Yes, uh, yes it is. I saw the story write it down, and she must have erased it later. That's bullshit. You know who I am? No, because your name is on the list, asshole. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude, but it was me who took your name. Oh, those are some weird ass creepy. Looks like a pool of blood. Oh, I guess it would, and then they put sharks in it. I guess they put red lights in it. 
end of the world. Yeah, the red lights and the end of the world. That does look very, very freaking creepy, though. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. I took your name off the, uh, the list. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay. Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay. I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No. Hey, I put my name down, didn't I? Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I swear I put my name down on the list. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I put my name down on the list. I swear I did. Glow sticks. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? I swear I got her to put my name down. Or maybe it's just to get into the party and not to, you know, go into the VIP. I'm going in anyway. See ya. <laughs> Fuck you. Or is it toilets? Oh, this is not the VIP section. This is hey, toilets. Max. What are you doing in here? Not anymore. Sixty-nine reasons to bang Rachel. Can I look at the graffiti? It will not let me look at the graffiti. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. You wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty you muscly, ripped uh... already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Ah. It's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Rachel. Rachel Amber won't be coming either. Damn, I was thinking about Rachel and Chloe tonight. If they showed up together right now, shit would end. Rachel could always shut Victoria down. Good for Rachel. I wish I could have seen Stop that. Stop knocking. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, dab, I'm dab, cool, dab. Justin. Oh, they're not gonna and dab. I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Time to make like a tree and leave. No, seriously, I'm oh. out of here. Damn it. No, oh, I don't oh, matter. I'm not going to talk to him about other stuff. So Exit the vortex club. The tide is turning. Dana needs a baby daddy with a Migusta face. Hi guys, don't mind me. Oh god damn. Never Chloe must be around. Good. Can you please hurl and flush all This is my last vortex club party. Yes, you've been vomiting for like oh, an no. hour. Not again. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. <laughs> or both. Ugh, Max. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah, poor guy, so this is gonna be his last party. We'll see about that. Yeah, there's probably people canoodling in there. And yes, I do use the word canoodling. Nothing in here then? I can't get past the bouncer. Even though I should be able to. Where do I go then? Where do I go? Why are you just stop casually hitting that guy for God's sake? There we go, hey, Courtney. Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the go let me in. VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Damn, woman. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you, like, decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> You're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh... Oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Awesome. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Look at that sly smile on her face. 
Can I talk with her? Or she's just going to be mad at me. <laughs> no, she's, I can't talk with her. Here we go. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Oh. Oh, Kate. Hello. Thanks so much for coming by, Max. With my heart, Kate. I was happy to see you smile again. You mean so much to me and to some of the others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say, have fun at the movies with Warren. So sweet, he brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Yeah, you guys are pretty oh, shitty. Hayden. Here? What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. That's me. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, <laughs> so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? Uh, I'll just say I'll just say no. He doesn't no know thing. shit. I'll just say come no. Come on, come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here, or you could sit down and take a quick hit. Uh, Sean Prescott. Hayden. Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. Yeah, I like How the Lannisters. How can we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Can you look out for this poor girl? Here, please? A bong. Give me a break. Okay, so we can't sit down and have a... Have a puff. Taylor! Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Victoria. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So, you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. <laughs> He's a pharmacy Good girl. simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Love you, honey. Thank you so many awesome friends, Max. Yep. Yeah. Oxygen. Oh. Yeah. That oh. oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. True. Hey, Barman. You look kind of lost. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. Those are Pringles, if I've ever seen them. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Let's have a chat with her. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Why is she being so you harsh already? What? What's, going on at What's happened? It was so Max nice to her tried before. To kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. To blame you? Oh, I will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow, are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. 
and you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Yeah, the fact that you were do hostile you to me outside the gate. We're not supposed to be friends. No need. Why not? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along you fine. You did in the alternate universe. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Now here's the thing. You would think telling her about the dark room is the right thing to do. In actual fact, it's not. Oh, um, no reason. I, I, I'm i glad we finally had a talk. I don't blame you for not caring. I totally know I'm a mean bitch. Too much residue for my other school cliques. We are supposed to be adults, right? That's what they tell us. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Nathan Prescott? Why do you want to know that? Uh, uh, Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. I hope he doesn't give you any shit. Actually, I haven't seen Nathan tonight. I swear. Au revoir. Yeah, actually warning her is the bad option. You'll find out later why. <laughs> And yeah, this should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? I mean, she might be evil, but you dance worse than my dad. Let's have a chat with her. Yes. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. <laughs> Trevor. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help. I really like your earrings as well. Family. Sean Prescott. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dan. Damn that flashing. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. <sighs> that son of a bitch is not here. <sighs> Where are you, DJ? Nathan? You're not playing anything. I heard they wouldn't let Kate Mark. Julia and Zachary. Oh, I guess we can have a have a sit and bitch about life. What's that say? Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. I can't even read it. Oh, right, fuck yourself. That's what it says. Let's just have a little sit down and think about life. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. 
I like how he says Look fate on his shirt ass. as well. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. Can you not move your legs? But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Dark room and angry? Wish we could actually tell someone to watch out for that girl who's passed out already. A little bad. What's in... Hello? Oh, you're being naughty with each other. Okay, I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> I could see legs, and then I realised that there was two people there, and not just one person. I was like, that was going to be very creepy if there was just one person. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think Damn. we can leave. Chloe, Nathan We've done everything. Here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, oh. Hey, Hello, Mr. Mr. Jefferson. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. <laughs> yeah, sure he is. That makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. And we are. We can't stick around. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. We do stick around to get to hear who won. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this <laughs> is the most important step in being You're so hot. I love you. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. Oh, look at these glasses. The envelope, please. So white. And the winner is... Things. Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Hey, well done. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope <sighs> I can live up you know, to You know, you don't actually have to give a speech. Things. Just, you know, take I a crown, break it into all the pieces, throw it to other so people, and then leave. <laughs> and I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. Ooh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Better be nice to her when Thank she does. You, you suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. You suck, Victoria. Oh, that's the only thing you can hear. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. That's the one thing you can hear. You suck, Victoria. I wonder who said it. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of littering. Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. God, that's so low res. Shit. Oh, there we go. Popped in. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Okay, maybe it's now where I can go see that graffiti. Oh, it's fading. Oh, it's gone. We just lost the second moon. Yeah, maybe it's now I can go see that graffiti. Is that supposed to be the moon? Oh, it's a reflection. Stop I was gonna say. Around, Chloe. <laughs> right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Okay, now I can walk around, so I should be able to find that graffiti, and I'll show you all that it's changed. What is that? Oh, it's a power box thing. Max, 
Please hurry. Shut up, Chloe. I almost called you Victoria, which would have been wrong. There's nothing around here. Are you looking for something back there? Catch up. I am looking for something. Leave me alone. Yes, it is. I don't even know where the graffiti was. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Oh, did I hear a rat just then? God, I wanna fucking kill that. What does that mean? Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Yeah, wasn't it up there? I think it was up there. Ooh. Boot prints. Were they always there? Maybe we should have called the police. Oh, but what? I can't get over there. Wasn't it in there that there was the... There's a... There's a door right there. I think that's where it was. I just want to see this one piece of graffiti, please. That's all I want to see. <laughs> oh, I hate this place. We all do, Max. We all do. Okay, yeah, I completely missed this door Maybe here. Should... What the hell? Oh, gross. You're all gonna die. There you go. Rachel is here. So there you go. That's just what I want you to... Show you all. I don't think there's anything else to look at. Just gotta follow. Oh, there's the rat. Something creaking. Did not like the sound of that. Whoa! Catch Nathan, you better kill him over. Over. For God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? That legitimately scared the ever loving crap out of me. Holy hell. I don't even know what it was. Was it a bird or something? Please hurry. Here we go. I'm pretty sure right now this is the end of the episode. Oh God, Max, look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Needle. Oh, no. And she can't rewind. What the fuck? And the gun didn't help her. Oh, right in her forehead. She's dead. Right next to her best friend. Mm. Well, her two best friends. Right over her old best friend. Right over Rachel, her love. And that does not look like Nathan. That looks like Mr. Jefferson. And there you go. Episode 4, Dark Room. Done. It was Mr. Jefferson. Oh, Christ. And there's my achievement. Finished episode 4, Dark Room. Big bombshell right there. It was Mr. Jefferson. As well as Nathan, it was Mr. Jefferson. Which takes me back to... The... Sorry, I'm burping a lot. Whew. It takes, back, it takes me back to that note that we found in the dark room. It wasn't signed by anyone. It said, like, don't call me on your phone. Use the disposables I gave you. And don't, don't say my name and shout it out to everyone. She said it was from her... His dad, probably, but it looks like it was actually, probably, from Mr. Jefferson. Telling Nathan to, you know, watch himself and not give him away. <sighs> now we just got to go through the credits. I probably could skip them, but I don't want to in case we also skip the, like, next time on. 
And then there's just one episode left. But then as well as that, I'm not going to play all of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, because I like how I pre-ordered it, not wanting to know anything about the game really. And then I found out that you like no original voice actress for Chloe and no powers or anything. And it, it was just teen drama rather than anything like that. Like it wasn't like, you know, any compelling, amazing mystery, so to speak. It's just Chloe and Rachel and their troubles. It wasn't a mystery to solve or anything like that. So I'm not going to play that. I will play the bonus episode, which again includes Max and Chloe and Chloe's original voice actress when they were kids. Um, on the, on like not today. I think it's like three days before Max leaves. And that takes place right at that point. So I will play that because that'll apply to all this stuff. And then as well as that, they're also bringing out, a th I think it's a free short story of a kid. I can't remember his name, and it's a long subtitle, like Life is Strange something, 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 like superhero. Best around a kid who wants to be a superhero, and he envisions stuff he does as being like a superhero. Like in the trailer, he puts a crack, uh, cracker, a banger, sorry, a banger. He puts a, like, a banger in a snowman's mouth, but then... The reality shifts and it looks like he's, you know, firing something out of his hand to blow the snowman's head off. That looks pretty cool. If it, like, you know, messes with stuff and changes stuff and makes you, like... I'm pretty sure you won't actually have any real powers. But the fact that, you know, it changes puts a unique spin on it. That's just, that's just why I don't want to play Before the Storm, really. Because it just looks like teen drama. And, you know, I bet it's a story... Like, maybe a good story and stuff. But I just don't want to play that, you know? It's just... Eh, uh, not my kind of story. It's like this, it's interesting because it's a mystery to solve and, you know, it's uh, the time travel stuff. But even without the time travel stuff, it's like solving the mystery and stuff like that. I don't think there's much mystery in Before the Storm of Chloe and Rachel hanging out together and stuff like that. And I don't think there's like a murder mystery to solve or all that jazz. It's just teen drama of them hanging out. And then even saying that the bonus episode is also them just hanging out when they were kids. But it's, you know, it's one episode and it applies to this. And, you know, you get what I'm on about. Hopefully. Long episode as well, again, over an hour. But I got through it. Trying to get make sure I get games done. Because so many times I've started games in the past and never finished them. But I'm trying to get stuff done. I need to do like Murdered Soul Suspects. Doom, Soma. I had to do so many, get so many things done. Soma's going to be a pain as well because I've got it on PC. I've moved away from recording off on my PC because, like, wearing out my PC, I don't want to do it. Like, recording as well as like, running a game, it, you know, puts a strain on stuff. But this, I'm playing this on Xbox One and recording on the laptop, so it's a strain on my laptop. It's not having to run a game and record at the same, car, same time, it's just recording. Actually, it's recording two videos at the same time. Because I think I've brought it up before that saying, like, I tried different ways of recording. Like, I tried recording with, like, Audacity and um, uh, recording the audio and then recording the capture card with the program it comes with, the RE Central program. But then uh, the audio really doesn't match up well. Uh, then I tried just recording with OBS, recording both the microphone and the game audio, but even doing that, the game audio would go out of sync, so I'd have to sort that out. But somehow, the fact that I record the capture card with the Arri Central program, then also record a video, so you can't just record audio with OBS, you have to record a video, but also then recording a video with OBS, which is just like a black video, but with the microphone audio. Usually, if I put it in Adobe Premiere and put the microphone audio from the OBS video like two seconds sooner than when the game audio starts, it usually matches up pretty well. I mean, me have to go like, like click three times to the left or to the right, usually to the right, to sync it up better, but it's usually pretty damn close. And, you know, the game audio is in sync with the video because it's all recorded on one program and the length of the 
microphone audio is the same because it's you know constant bit rate and all that stuff. It just works the best, and it's like a really stupid way to do it. Recording two videos at the same time, so it's recording the audio on its own, but it works. Oh, this is some long credits with no sound. The double D symbol. <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> Thanks for crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. I cried more when I was having to save Kate because I connect more with that, but she just got shot in the head, Chloe. It's, you know, it's still sad, but what? Oh, I guess we might get next time when I move off of these, I think. So, going all the way back to the beginning, we accepted Chloe's request to euthanize her, but uh, that probably doesn't connect with anything because that timeline might not exist anymore. If it does, it's that other Max's problem. Wow. 50-50 for letting Warren beat up Nathan, Nathan or stopping him. Wow. 50-50. Wow. Well, I stopped him, so... Uh, no one got hurt when we dealt with Thrank. Thrank. I put... the TF. Frank, not Thrank. That's 66%. So... Yeah, we're in the majority there. Because I'm pretty sure you can rewind, but I decided not. So, you know, risk it. Uh, then we got Victoria believed your warning. Victoria didn't believe your warning and you didn't warn Victoria. Now, the didn't believe your warning. Maybe I might have gotten that. She was so hostile to me right out of the gate. I thought we were, you know, all right, but she was so hostile. But I didn't warn her. And that's actually the correct choice. And you'll find out why in the next episode. Uh, and then we've got, we saved the Blue Jay. Yay! In the minority there, most people probably didn't know about it. Oh, thank God, we didn't disturb the bird's nest. It's a, a massive majority there because people probably weren't even looking for it. But I think if we didn't put the board back, we would have disturbed it. And we would have got a text from Joyce saying the bird's nest was destroyed. And she knows that we were snooping around. But thankfully, we didn't disturb it. Uh, we, f we didn't f find... We didn't find Davy's code. We got... Davis files in another way, and we're in the majority there. Oh god damn it, controller! Uh, you helped. Hel uh, Kate helped you find Nathan's room. We're in the majority there. We motivated Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. We're in the majority there because people probably didn't speak to him. They probably just rushed through. We left a marriage on Warren Slate again. Minority there because people probably didn't look. We didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. We're in the majority there. <laughs> we have to use the uh, the puck code or whatever it's called. And we helped Alyssa and. Wow, we were very in the majority there for helping Alyssa out. I think we do have to help her out one more time in the next episode. And that's like the best thing ever when we do. So that's pretty much it. So next time on Life is Strange. Okay, that's the dark room. Needles, drugs. Oh, there's Jefferson. That's Max saying, don't do this. Oh. oh, God. Okay, so yeah, next time, Life is Strange, episode five, polarized. Cannot connect to the internet. Please check your connection settings. Wow. Am I not connected to Xbox Live right now? I should be. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. And next time, we'll be doing episode 5, Polarized, where Jefferson has killed Chloe and has taken Max to the dark room. So we'll see what happens then. Also, with these three pictures, we've got the files, we've got the tornado, and we've got the original, like, picture of Max in her bedroom looking at the walls and wall and stuff. So, just take those three. They're going to be very important for the next episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.